I don't really know how to tell people not how to, you know, don't feel pain. I don't really know how to tell people to how to how to not do that. I think that part of, you know, just having logic isn't enough. Just having a thinking process isn't enough because because you have a thinking process, right? And um you have this thinking process and it can kind of tingle you up a little bit. It can kind of get you in a can kind of get you in a mode that you don't want to be in and then and then you're sitting there, you know, wondering like what the hell what the hell what the hell am I even doing? You know? You know, and you just try to rationalize things over and over and over and you go back to square one. Um but you know, for me personally, I feel like a big part of the way I feel is by what I, what I'm putting in my body and and uh what I'm letting other people put in my body too. Cause if you think about it, like if people say something to you and the thought you receive it and it kind of enters your body, you know what I'm saying? So it's almost like you're digesting shit that you don't want to digest. But another thing I noticed with that, you know, with uh, how you're processing the information is you get used to it over time. You, you get a tolerance to it and then you eventually become numb to it. Like it's like a poison, you know, it's almost, I think that especially trash talk online and YouTube and the internet can be an addiction for that purpose because you like the negativity that comes along with the positivity, right? And that's one way to see it, but that's not necessarily the way that it is because it's like, well, hey, you know, I just I, I just want to succeed. I just, you know, believe in myself. And hey, that's fucking awesome. Like, you're just believing in yourself, doing your fucking thing. <laughs> and you got, you know, whatever perception, whatever kind of stuff that led you to where you are. And then... And then you end up just kind of, you know, whoever the fuck you are doing your thing. And so, uh, but, but what I'm really like the whole idea of pain, you know, because a lot of people have, you know, it's weird because some people have like pain that they can't control. And then some people have pain that's influenced by certain things that they process in their mind. And that makes them feel pain. Like you lose someone in your life. That makes you feel sad. That makes you feel pain. But really, if you thought about it in a different way, like, because people think it's immoral to feel pain. Like, you think you're a good person if you feel pain. And it's like, well, you don't want to think that you're a good person if you feel something because, like, I'm a good person if I suffer. I mean, but we know we have not. And that's the thing is people have natural emotions and natural, you know, instincts that, you know, like. Some people bypass it, and that's what causes the personalities to be different because they can think. Some people can think in, an, in a different way, and you could say, "Well, yeah, all those people have done acid, probably." But um, I don't know. It's kind of weird to think about where people are at mentally and how their, you know, their brain kind of changes to think in a different way. And then you think about pain, you know, as this thing because you pain comes, you know, pain can come from dwelling too. <laughs> From dwelling on the future and the past and just everything that's inevitable and everything that's going to happen. You know, and it, it, it comes too much. It's too much. You solve it. You know, it's too much to solve in one day type thing. But, like, I think that, like, a lot of people try to send positive messages out there. And it's like, well, you just can't just think past the pain a lot of time. But I think comedy can show people that there is sort of a, you know what I'm saying? Like, um... Or even lyrics or like a lot of different things can show people that you can like distract yourself. And, and that's what I think it is too is like it's almost like just quit talking about it. Just let it die. Like just think about something better. But that's what I'm trying to say is you can't just think yourself out of it sometimes. For a lot of people, you know, you can't just be like magical thinking, you know. So, but I think that's part of it. Like people, people on the internet will help you with that, you know. And so, and it kind of taken advantage of you, to be honest, but I, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to do, too. Sometimes I'm just like, well, just make a video and talk about some shit. Like, whatever, you know, be cool. Stop being, don't be uptight about it, you know, just like do some stuff like, hey, good, good for you, you know, like.